Hello everyone and welcome to The Defender. This is Wardens of the Cross. Despite what many pe people, especially Protestants, believe, the Virgin Mary does intercede for us to God and help us to heaven if we ask her to. She has appeared to many people throughout the course of history, but one of the most well-known and venerated apparitions of the Virgin Mary is Our Lady of Guadalupe, which occurred in the Americas, Mexico, Mexico to be specific. The Feast of These apparitions occurs in the month of December. However, today's episode is on this miraculous apparition, since sharing the joy of it with you could, could not come soon enough. These apparitions took place on the hill of Tepeyac. Tepeyac. Sorry if I mispronounced that. To give a little background on the area, the hill of Tepeyac was originally used to sacrifice to an Aztec goddess by the Aztecs. That should be obvious. This goddess this goddess was in reality a very powerful demoness, which could be expected when you're giving it human sacrifices. <clears throat> Excuse me. To keep her sa satiated, this hill was used to sacrifice babies and perform abortions in honor, honor of the demon, much like Planned Parenthood today. Before the Spaniards arrived, this hill was stained with the blood of innocent children. The rituals often included cannibalism and mutilating the unborn, aborted babies, much like Planned Parenthood. The Europeans were horrified by this practice horrified by this practice, rightfully so, and destroyed the demonic temple and had the evil practices stopped. They put the priests of the temple to death, which may have been kind of harsh, but seeing how they were accustomed to killing babies, it's hard to plead otherwise, and threatened all involved with severe punishment unless the horrors of baby murder were completely stopped. Ten years later, a Catholic convert by the name of Juan Diego was walking past that hill when he heard a voice calling to him. Upon climb, climbing the hill, he saw a lady clothed in a mantle of blue, covered in stars, dressed in a scarlet robe. A black belt was around her waist. She made it known to the awestruck Juan Diego that she was the Blessed Mother and that she desired a chapel to be built in her honor upon the hill. Juan Diego went to the bishop with her request, but was turned away. This was repeated several times. The virgin would appear to Juan Diego and sweetly speak to him. The devout man called her my little queen and did everything according to her wishes, with her being the mother of God, obviously. Now, in case any of you are thinking, well, this hill was used for a sacrifice to an Aztec goddess, so how do we know this isn't the Aztec, the uh, demon? Well, It'll be proved later on with a miracle, of course, which demons can't perform. They simply scare the hell out of people as far as God allows them. Anyway, at last, the local bishop, tired of being barraged by Juan Diego's visits, told him to ask the lady for a sign. However, that morning, Juan realized that his only kinsman was dying, his uncle, so he went instead to fetch the doctor. To avoid meeting the lady, he went around the hill instead of across it like he typically did, but he was stopped by the virgin appearing in the middle of his path. She smiled and told him not to fear for his uncle, as he was already recovered, which is another proof that it's not the demon. The Holy Virgin had appeared, excuse me, the Holy Virgin had healed Juan Diego's dying uncle through a miracle, by interceding for the uncle to God. She told Juan to climb to the hill of Tepeyac and bring the bishop what was growing there. Even though it was the middle of winter, the hill was covered in the most beautiful, the most beautiful and sweetly scented roses. Juan Diego gathered them in his tilma, a front-facing cloak worn by peasants in Mexico. Once at the bishop's house, he waited patiently. When the bishop finally came to see him, Juan let the tilma fall. Falling to their knees in amazement, the entire assembly in the room stared with awe at the roses, which, consequently, are not, were not in season at this time. Confused, Juan Diego looked down and saw that his tilma was now imprinted with an image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. The bishop then commissioned the building of the chapel on the spot, as the Mother of God requested. Our Lady of Guadalupe Apparition is the patron saint of Mexico today. 
The image of Our Lady printed on the tilma is still preserved. There are, however, many copies of it worldwide, which can be seen in most churches nowadays. The apparition at Guadalupe is evidence that the Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Church comes to earth to still to aid her son's creation. If we beseech her to pray for us to God, perhaps we will find more that we wish to happen may come true, and that our faith in her son may grow stronger. Mary is not a goddess, like the Aztecs believed in their goddess, and she's not a demon, as the, de as the Aztec goddess actually was, but she is the mother of God, which is referred to in multiple places throughout the Gospels and the, the rest of the New Te Testament. And so, if we pray to her to pray to her son, and she intercedes for us, he may listen to her, and if it is, is, who, is his will, he will grant her every wish.